Hey, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. Today we're going to talk about personal protection equipment. This is for when you're working in the bush, you're cutting trees, you're cutting logs, maybe you're just cutting firewood, stacking firewood. You need personal protection equipment so that you don't get hurt. I'm going to show you what I use. I don't use anything fancy. I just use what I need, what works for me, keeps me safe. And I'm just going to run you through the stuff that I have. No fancy production here. We're just hanging out in the garage. It's raining. So you see my messy garage, but that's not what's important. What's important is learning about your personal protection equipment that you should be using to keep you safe. And let's be realistic. It's not a fashion show. If you like fancy stuff, good for you. That's fine. I'll just show you what you need. So let's start off with what I think is the most important thing, chaps. Accidents happen, you know, you can be really safe, but you never know an accident may happen and you may run that chain across your leg. You don't wanna do that, it's never happened to me. I hope it never does. But you need a pair of chaps so that you don't cut your leg. Quick story, I have a cousin who cut his legs, both his legs with a chainsaw. They were pretty deep cuts. He had to be rushed to a trauma center by helicopter long story short he is fine but you know what if he would have had chaps on it likely wouldn't have been so bad so what I have here is a pair of still chaps these chaps come down to just above your boot I'm five foot seven and they fit me right I didn't want them too long so I wasn't tripping on them the waist is a strap with a buckle it's adjustable and on the legs there's two straps on each leg that with buckles that are adjustable you can snug them up any way you like. I'll be honest, it gets warm with wearing chops while you're cutting wood, but you know what? It, if it's going to save you from cutting your legs, why not? You know what? We'll just put up with the heat. They do slip down a little bit. You just got to keep pulling them up. They're a little bit of a nuisance, but again, if it keeps you from cutting yourself and safe and out of the hospital, why not wear them? And how chops work, if you touch your leg with a chainsaw, it's still going to cut these, but what happens is it shreds the chaps and the chaps get wound up in the chain and the bar of your chainsaw and binds it up so it stops working. And it stops the chain from going around and continuing the cut. So that's why you want to wear chaps. The next piece of equipment is the forestry safety helmet. What I have here is a forestry safety helmet by TR Industries. Now, I just bought this. I just cut, split, and stacked a whole truckload of logs, and I didn't have my helmet. I ordered my safety helmet at least a week before I was even finished the wood. I thought I'd, it would show up before I finished. And actually, it showed up the same day that we were just f cutting the last four logs and splitting and stacking them. So the courier truck showed up in my driveway, Delivered my helmet, and I was already just about finished, so I never got to use it. And I'll tell you why I wanted one of these. When I started cutting those logs with the chainsaw, you know when you bring the chainsaw down onto the bark, the bark always breaks off quick and it flies up. Well, I had a lot of bark and sawdust flying up in my face, and I thought it would be great to have a shield across my face like this nice mesh screen here. And I tried this helmet on. I can see through this screen just perfectly. It's not dark at all, I can see really good. And I did have hearing protection out there while I was using the chainsaw. I had these on at all times, even working with the splitter. What a difference that makes. So this helmet here from TR Industries comes with earmuffs, hearing protection. They, come, they snap right onto the helmet and they can pull out and go around like this right on your ears. And you have to assemble your whole helmet. It comes with instructions. As you can see right here, comes with instructions, easy to follow. You just snap, 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 in about two minutes you're done. Everything works good. I tried it on. This helmet here comes with an adjustable dial to adjust to your head size. Works really good. Everything feels snug. These are spring-loaded, so they come around like this, and then they go in towards your ear, cup your ear. Actually, a funny thing is, I was showing my wife the helmet and she was talking to me and I could hardly hear her words. I had to make her repeat it because I couldn't hear her because the hearing protection works so good. Now this visor, if it goes up, it goes down, you can adjust it to go in and out. There's like three adjustments and it also comes with a clear shield. I think I'd much rather prefer the open mesh 
but at least you have a choice. You can put on the clear one. It has protective film on it, or you can use the mesh shield. So this helmet here will work good for me. It's not the best helmet you can buy. It's a good helmet. For what we're doing, cutting logs here in the yard, uh, what I was most concerned about was having a face shield so I don't have bark and sawdust flying off my face and into my eyes. I do wear safety glasses a lot too. Also, the strap has a cloth like headband. It goes across your forehead so it's comfortable, not the hard plastic, you know what I mean? And it has some ventilation here at the top. I, uh, you know what? It'd probably be hot anyway in a hot day, but in the winter it'd be great. But it does have some ventilation holes here at the top of the helmet, so that would be good. But I'll definitely be using this helmet when I go into the woods if I have to cut a tree or knock a tree down for any reason. Because a lot of times you have dead limbs at the top of trees. This is It's still going to hurt if anything ever come down on your head, but at least you have some protection. Maybe it'll just knock you out. <laughs> now I'm going to leave links down below in the description of this video where you can go check out products on Amazon like this TR Industries forestry safety helmet i'll have a link to that chaps they don't have steel chaps at amazon but they have husqvarna and they have other brands and you can check them out they have different sizes for whatever you need whatever or however tall you are and um for boots i just wear steel toe boots i got these boots from work you never know when the chainsaw might hit the end of your foot it's never happened to me let's hope it never does but if you got steel safety boots on that's going to really help you help protect your toes you might be able to go to Saturday night dance if you have your steel toe boots on and for gloves well I wear a variety of gloves I wear mostly leather gloves here we have some leather gloves here um, in the winter time like these are insulated but in summertime I'll wear the leather gloves or I'll get those work gloves that you can get from like Home Depot they're just a soft glove so at the end of this video i'll leave links to a couple other videos where you can see where we had the truckload of logs dropped off and, and our whole playlist of cutting this load of logs splitting it and stacking it we did the whole load within 39 days again i'll leave links to those videos and that playlist at the end of the video and also in the description of this video down below so again, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there while you're cutting wood or cutting trees. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. I really appreciate it. Take care and we'll see you on the next video.